This segment of UB Basketball Insider is brought to you by Fichte, Indel, and Elmer Eye Care. Focused on you. Welcome back to UB Basketball Insider. Fichte, Endel, and Elmer Eye Care bring us this clear vision look at a key player on the Bulls bench. The bench has been huge for Nate Oates' team all year long. One of those guys is a player that the Bulls affectionately call Johnny. Well, his real name is Nikola Rakikovic, and he has brought an international flavor to the Buffalo bench. My name is Nikola Rakikovic. I'm a freshman, and I'm a part of UB Basketball team. Well, I started to play basketball when I was 10. I played for my hometown team, Kuka Smedrevo. And um, after two years, I decided to move to Serbian capital, to Belgrade, and play basketball at a Red Star. That was a little bit higher level, so that was the main reason I went there. After four years in Belgrade, I decided I want to go to the U.S. Uh, after I finished my high school, I was part of every um, national team event we, we played. We played, we played at Kiev at uh, under 16 European Championship and we were second and I played for under 17 uh, at World Cup at Dubai. We won bronze, we were third at, and we played against US. That was definitely like the biggest game in my life. The national team is the uh, biggest, biggest honor for, for every basketball player or any other sport. So mostly like just being there with all those guys and be part of that is, is the biggest honor you can have. That is like the greatest experience. But also I saw some great places and play some amazing games. I'm a complete player. I mean, I can do a lot of things. I'm not like just shooting or just rebounding. I have a lot of stuff to show. So I think that that is the best part of my, my game. Quickly right corner Massenburg, 12 to shoot. Bearden cross court pass to Rakikovic who fakes a three in the left corner. Now drive to the bucket, scoop shot, goes nice. in. That was a nifty nice. move by Nicola. My classes are mostly like with a lot of international students. Generally, UB is a great international campus. I mean, there's a lot of international students, so I have a lot of friends and I have a lot of international. That's also helping me a lot because we we're all coming from different countries and we all expect that. Now, I'm not the, the only new guy, so that's really, really good. And we all have a great hemisphere also. The guys that are here like for a couple of years, they are great, so they're helping me with that transition part. So, so far everything's good. Last year was very successful. I mean, the most successful year for UB basketball. So this year, the goal is just to be better than last year. I mean, simple as that, we need to improve every single part. Well, we've seen Nicola play spurts for you and at times play a lot of minutes and really contribute some double figure games. Where is his emergence going right now? Obviously, he's had to adjust to a lot of things here. Yeah, you know what? I mean, he comes from Europe, come from Serbia. He's had to adjust to the style of play here. It's a little bit different. It's more athletic, a little bit more physical. Uh, he's really skilled, though. I think we, you know, in the times he's been able to get in, people have seen how skilled he is. I, he just had to learn how to play hard and with the same aggressiveness and toughness and all that, that 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 you know we need him to play with to win games here i think once he gets that figured out he's going to be really good though he can shoot the ball he passes it. he's got great feel he knows when to cut when to pass he you know he can do a little bit of everything he's got good size so i i'm really looking forward to him really figuring this all out because I think he can really contribute to us in the future a lot. Right. For a long time, international players have been huge in college basketball. Where do you see your program related to wanting to bring those kids in there, being able to recruit over there? All these assistants got their passports, right? I mean, it's a challenge, but but obviously it's worked out very well, not just for you, but for a lot of other teams. Yeah, you know what? I mean, it's definitely a field you have to look at. And Jim, Jim was the one that recruited um, Nicola. He had connections over there from – from his previous job, so he's the one that brought him up. You know, whatever connections we can use, we just want the best best available players out there, wherever they're from, whether it's from Western New York, upstate New York. We got three Canadians now. Right. Stefan came in, he'll play next year. So, you know, Jaron and Rodell graduate. We had to keep the one, uh, at least one Canadian on the <laughs> roster. So, you know, and I, I kind of went to high school in the U.S., but he's, he's a former sure. kid, you know. So I just, I don't think we're going to, Say we definitely have to go get some foreign kids. You know, I know the women's program's really gotten mm -hmm. a lot of foreign kids, but just if, if they're available and they're better than anybody we can get here, we're going to take them. So, and I think 
I think we're gonna we're gonna do all right that way. I like I like our Canadians. I like Nicola. Ikenna has been great for us. So you know wherever they come from, if they can play, we're gonna take them. Who pinned the nickname Johnny on Nicola? It was from back home. I mean, he told us that. I, I you know Johnny sounds like a pretty American name, but I guess <laughs> he he had the whole story. I can't remember it. I don't want to botch it. You'll have to ask him exactly uh, right, we'll where get, it came from. We'll get we'll we'll get that. We'll get the insight on the story. But in the meantime, he's been a nice player for you. Hey uh, Nate, congratulate or at least good luck. Congratulations on the way this season has gone for you. Good luck. you got a tough week coming up. Uh, we're looking forward to the doubleheader coming up on next Saturday as well, too. Sounds good. Thanks, All Paul. right, that is Nate Oates. He is the UB head men's basketball coach. We've got much more coming up on UB Basketball Insider. Support the new Basketball Excellence Fund and help build a strong foundation for years to come. You can play a critical role in shaping the success of UB basketball while also getting exclusive benefits and opportunities. Log on to bullsblueandwhite.com for more information.